Hi, it's me again. I'm Nafid. Today I will show you a very simple lab how to build your own first home environment for as a lab. So we will be using VirtualBox uh, and on top of VirtualBox we will download Ubuntu Linux version 20 and we'll run that Ubuntu Linux on top of it and I'll show you how to export a machine as uh, uh, a complete file, uh, OVF or OVA, uh, how to import the machine or a machine that was already built into your environment. So let's go and have a look. So you go to VirtualBox website and you download the correct image to your operating system. In our case, we are using Windows as an operating system. You also go to the Ubuntu website, you download the ISO image, which is the image kind of uh, you will use that image to uh, install or complete the installation of your Ubuntu server. You go to the download it, you can see the extension uh, for that as an image. You can see the properties of that file and you can clearly see it's an ISO image .iso, which is a standard for disk image we call it. Now once you do that you need to go to your uh, virtual box and create a new machine, you give it a name, and um, you specify the type of the machine and the version, in this case, open to 64-bit. You specify also the location where the machine folder will be uh, kept and the files, and you specify the environment. So basically, what's your RAM based on your machine? In our case, on my machine, I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So, uh, I will be using four gigabytes from. So you need to just match, uh, if you like, to the environment of your machine. As you can see, there's uh, a green line and a red line, and that's recommendation basically. So I went for four gigabytes, which is four one nine six megabytes, and then you create a virtual disk format. Um, and once you create the virtual machine. Uh, you select what is the version or the, the format of the virtual disk. And we have selected BMDK. Here we specify the size of the hard disk and uh, create this, um, the hard disk. Once you do that, the machine is ready for you. Now there's no image. So we need to import the image into that machi machine. Otherwise the machine will fail to start. So the image, the one we downloaded, the ISO image, and you go to this ISO image, you open it, and it's now going to be used to start uh, the machine. Once you do this, you start the machine, and that will start the process of installing Linux. Um, and you go through some screenshot, uh, screen, um, you know, questions, and so probably the whole process uh, might take you five minutes. I speak, um, I just don't, um, I showed you the end results, so it's still open to. Um, you select the language, uh, you move on to the next one, and I went for minimal installation. You can go for normal installation if you would like to, um, here only for, for the demonstration purpose, and you go install. So this will take a bit of time, you continue, and once you're done, you need to uh, specify the location of your machine. In my case, it was in Europe, London. Uh, you select your name, you select the username and the password. So once you've done that, you move next. And uh, once the installation, all the files have been downloaded and installed, you need to restart this virtual machine. Now, this virtual environment is ready for you to use. But remember, it is only Linux now. There's nothing running on it. It's only pure Linux. You need to do the updates. You can refer to my other videos uh, for these processes. Now, I would like to show you uh, an example of uh, when you need to export the machine as an OVA. So first of all, we need to turn off the machine. So we power off this virtual machine that you have created. Once you power off that virtual machine, you can go and export the uh, environment. So we export a virtual appliance, we call it. Um, you specify the location where you're gonna export that virtual env environment and the format of that, we selected OVF. That will take probably one or two minutes to export. Once done, you can clearly see the file format and OVA. So, Open Virtualization uh, Archive, which is a collection of files that is, it's a complete setup. So when, if you import this, you can clearly see that we can also run this one using VMware uh, Player 
uh, if you have VMware player to uh, to uh, run this machine. Now, uh, on the very same basis, we can import a file. So uh, you can import an exported file, which is this one. So for example, you can share this file with someone and the um, other person can import that file into their local environment. And that will run exactly what we have exported it as. From memory, of course, the one who would install this environment, um, this file will be able to change uh, bits and pieces like the CPU, the RAM, that to suit their own environment. In our case, we have single CPU, for example. Um, we have uh, four gigabyte from uh, the one who will import the own environment. They should be able to uh, fit their own environment. So you can clearly see we have imported this machine, and that's a new machine now, Ubuntu Linux one. Right, you can show that one. Now, in our case, we need to build guacamole. You can download the guacamole from our uh, in your location, as well as you can watch the YouTube video, how to build your first guacamole. It's 10, 11 minutes video, and it's part of the uh, videos that I have uploaded uh, previously. So once you download that image, uh, uh, the OVF or the OVA image into your environment, what will happen, you can always import it into uh, the virtual box. Or if you're running VMware player, you can also import it in the VMware player. Let's have a look. So now we go to the file. You can import that downloaded image. So we did download the image. We unzip it. So it was a zipped format. We extracted it um, in our, onto our local hard disk. Once we've done the extraction, the image uh, or the virtual appliance would be in the format of OVF or OVA, it depends. So in this case, it's OVF. Um, then once you do the installation, you specify the location of the file. Again, as I said to you, the environment that we have imported this was built based on four CPUs, for example, and certain memory size. And you can clearly see uh, the details of that machine that you have imported. So someone has built it, we built it previously. So now here, we're going to, uh, look and change, uh, for example, the number of processors because we are running this one on a on a simple desktop. We made it one processor, for example. You could you could have changed other things, like uh, looking into the network. And in our case, we are using bridge adapter. You could use NAT and some other format, but um, when you use bridge adapter, it means that it's part of your network. So if you have a DHCP server on your network, that would become a DHCP IP address. Right, so this is the machine. And uh, the machine I have, you know, if you downloaded this machine from the link I provided, uh, the, provide, um, the username would have been nafid and my password, my password, which I did explain in the video uh, that I have uploaded on the YouTube channel. Now we can see clearly this machine that we have important has a guacamole running on it. And we can, um, simply speaking, verify our environment right now and have a look at the guacamole uh, server, which is basically the one that we have downloaded on that virtual machine. Now guacamole works, and that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching.